Well, the skies are clear, the sun is out, but don't be deceived. There's a big time nip in the air on this crisp autumn day at Lincoln Financial Field. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And they'll send Judy in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Here's Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Now second and nine. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. That is caught. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Jeremiah Wusu koromoa Big impact play, a tackle for loss. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, 
then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 20! And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man coverage was so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And, Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Up the middle they go. Four. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Watson now to throw, escaping the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Watson. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. During the offseason, the Browns talked about becoming more explosive on offense. And they acquired Judy from Denver this offseason in hopes that he could be a major asset to their passing game. And here he is making his presence felt as he picks up a new set of downs for this offense. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down.
faking the give. Now Watson. This is Aikens hauling in the short pass. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, it's Ford. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Ball on the eight, second and two. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now because a look of surprise on the big fellow's face because he had the route that he wanted, running the corner, and usually he's able to use his body and catch the football, but a really nice play by the defenders, able to knock it away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Watson. Eluding the pressure right. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's a pickup of six. Ah, oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I'll let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Ford is into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Safety Grant Delpit up to make the play. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Running again with Barkley on second down. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Now third down and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. No oh, spinning away. A yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. That'll go as a pickup of eight. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Third and three, as they've got it as we resume action. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And there were a lot of people who were surprised when Barkley made the decision to sign with the Eagles this offseason. He adds another dynamic layer to an already stacked offense, and he's quickly making his presence felt as he picks up a nice first down here. Back to throw now on first down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside, and they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? S Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 21. Needed 13, they got 14 on third down. But well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Barkley. Able to slither by. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good work there. Holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. From the two now. Second and goal. Now they send a man in motion right. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Oh, and a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that will lead to a third and goal. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, 
You should see it coming the whole way. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. And when talking about the league's most dominant defenders, Garrett's name always is one of the first ones to come up, and for good reason. He's the reigning defensive player of the year, and he has a sight set on another big campaign. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now it's Watson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Out of the gun, Watson. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of his defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and they will take over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. They'll try the right side here. Barkley, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They'll look to throw now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They'll set up to throw. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. Five yards. Now it's third and five. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense.
Back to throw. He'll buy some time right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On third down, he obviously wants to throw the football, but there's nowhere to go with it, so he takes off and goes. And now as he gets to the first down marker, he blows right past it and picks up big yardage. Partner, that's a great bit of improvisation. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 34. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This is Smith to the ground. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone, first down. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are able to widen their advantage. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Cleveland offense making their way out. They find themselves down 17 to seven as they start this drive first and 10. Start this drive out on the ground. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and ten. Here's Watson. That's going to be caught by Judy. They'll come up now, third and three. To throw is Watson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? 
Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? From the gun on third, Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Ah, uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Watson now to throw. And incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Watson. And he comes back with one complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good, and they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? We're following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Man open left side is Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And with great starting field position and one timeout in their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing is Hurts. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Twelve seconds left. 
I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Hurts. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep, James Prochet. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I liked what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven-on-seven seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On second and 10, Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Browns will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. They'll run on first down, four. And he's got it to about the 40. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's a second and eight. Now Watson. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just past the 35. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. 
These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Just need a yard here, second and one. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. He'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. A good position to be in here, second and inches. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down and inches. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Miles Garrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. The Browns set to take over. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On first down, it's four. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here's Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Milton Williams with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. Oh. 
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Got a man, it's Brown. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. On third down, Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 49 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. And this is a rarity in the NFL, a 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen, and of course, a special player. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Rolling to his under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Zadarius Smith picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. 
Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. Again, they turn to Ford. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. That one complete out to Dotson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. They'll look to throw here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 
They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Barkley, toss play left. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 55 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? <laughs> just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And that is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Here's Watson. He's got Njoku over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. That's caught left side by Judy. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 
13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Watson. Under pressure, they got him again. Milton Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. He finds his man complete. That's Ford. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Good push from the offensive line, and they've done well so far to build this lead. Now, they've got to get things to the finish line. And that's a solid pick up there to begin the drive. shotgun they run with Barkley and now right out of the two minute break we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Again, it's Barkley, and he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. 
So now it's Watson and the Browns down by 13, 65 seconds remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Watson to throw. And Watson's going to go down in the end zone. It's a safety. Well, this defense has been smothering all game long. Why not give them two more points here in the closing minutes? Well, they've certainly earned it. They've gotten the better of this offensive line for four quarters, and this sack here will just be a little icing on the cake. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Taking it at about the 16. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Down to a knee goes Hurts, and that is going to be that. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.